Okay, so I made a video the other day and I was talking about artists who I feel like have no bad albums and in the middle of that I got inspired to talk about artists I like who have a bad album. You know, this is pop stars with bad albums in my opinion. First off, I want to talk about Justin Timberlake, Man of the Woods. This album is so bad. It really is. You know, him trying to lean into this whole country vibe and stuff. It just doesn't work. Yes, you have the Neptunes and Timbaland producing it. You know, whenever I heard about some of the credits, some of the stuff that they worked on together, I'm just like, are you absolutely kidding me? You know, this album was just bad. You know, there's some really good songs in here. Montana, I was listening to that song the other day. That's excellent higher higher midnight summer jam breeze out the pond is one of my favorite justin summer like songs but for every song like that you had filthy you had supplies the song with alicia keys was just absolutely abhorrent i thought say something is very mid i don't know how that was successful for him and i mean the list goes on the title track i just thought of that song oh my god horrible horrible why was that a single singles he released for this album made no sense a lot of the production was trash vocals on some of the songs were questionable i don't know why he released this album i don't know how it went number one on billboard but it was undeserved and this is one of the worst albums by a pop star that i've ever heard and i don't say that lightly so i had to start off with man of the woods because what was he thinking what was he thinking? Another Justin Timberlake album that I thought was bad was the 2020 Experience Part 2. I could have started the video off with this because this was the album before Man of the Woods. However, I wanted to drag Man of the Woods first, so you know, that was on the chopping block for me first and foremost. But this album was so bad because 2020 Experience Part 1 was excellent. You had songs like Push Your Love Girl, Strawberry Bubblegum was excellent. Can we talk about the amazing sonic experience of Tunnel Vision? A lot of people don't go for Blue Ocean Floor, but I really like that song. And you you even had stuff like mirrors which is one of his best songs to date and then the same year you release another album okay there's barely any good songs on this album objectively like i like not a bad thing a lot i liked tko on this album and i think i liked the murder song with jay-z and maybe one more song on this album but this album was just so bad in comparison to part one it really was it was like he put all the good songs on part one and then he gave us the scraps on part two Honestly, honestly, because what was Cabaret? What was that song? Give me what I want. Chop, True Bud, Chop, Electric Lady, Chop, like multiple bad songs on this. Yeah, it was just a chop. It just very much a disappointment, very much a disappointment. Apparently he wanted to release both of these as an album. I'm glad the label did not let him do that and they made him separate that. But yeah, apparently some people waited. They wanted to hear both albums together. Imagine the disappointment when they turn on part two and realize it's nowhere near as good as part one. Couldn't imagine that. Couldn't imagine that. And, you know, I'm thankful. I'm thankful because we had part one and I try to pretend that part two doesn't exist outside of a few songs. Even the songs I like on part two, I don't really listen to them a whole often. I really don't because this album is not really worth going back to for the most part besides a few songs. So, you know, we got to start this video getting in a few whackings for Justin Timberlake. Next up, I got John Mayer. You know, John Mayer, a horrible person, and this was absolutely a horrible album. It was just dreadful to listen to because it was so bland. You know, you had Born and Raised, which was a really good album that preceded this. Really liked the title track. Queen of California was definitely a highlight for me on that album. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. There was some highlights on there. And then with this album, it was just flop after flop after flop. You know, Taylor Swift had a song about him called Dear John. He responds with a song called Paper Doll, which it's not the worst thing I've ever heard, but he could have wrote a better song than that. He's a better songwriter than that. Who You Love featuring Katy Perry, I thought was just corny, not to mention the fact that you got ate up on your own song, so that was kind of embarrassing. You know, Badge and Gun was a chop. I mean, basically this whole album was a chop. Honestly, if this album got deleted from John Mayer's discography, I would not know the difference. I really wouldn't because I don't go to this album anyways. I just thought it was bland. I thought it was uninspired. I thought, why give us this album? If this was the best that you could give us, then I don't want to hear it. This was a major disappointment for John Mayer. And I, I don't know what he was thinking releasing this album. And any success that it got wasn't deserved. So, you know, we have to get the fire there. Next up, I got Kelly Clarkson's Stronger Album. This album was really not as good as I was hoping that it was going to be. It was just such a disappointment. Very much carried by the singles. I think there was a few other songs that I have saved on the album. Do I revisit it minus the singles? No. You know, I like Kelly Clarkson a lot. I think most of her albums are pretty good. This is not one of them. You know, I thought that the production wasn't great. The songwriting was trash. The only good thing was the vocal. That was literally it. But at the end of the day, I can't just listen to an album for vocals. The other things have to be good. And now 
90 percent of this album wasn't had it not been carried off the back of those singles how the album would have done how would it have done i don't know why people enjoy this album i don't know why people bought this album outside of the singles imagine buying this album and hearing it and realizing that there's really not much to appreciate and actually enjoy i don't understand why this was released and i keep saying that for all this but especially the, it was just bad it was just bad another kelly clarkson album that i thought was really horrible was piece by piece absolutely not absolutely not this again carried by the singles with heartbreak song and piece by piece and i had two other songs saved in nostalgic and mad reputation those songs eight besides that i thought that this album was actually horrible like the sound of 2016 is so prevalent in this album all this kind of like insane production and i mean that in a bad way i don't know why they made those choices with the production but it haunts me and i hate the album cover it's unrelated yeah this album was just bad thank god she bounced back with meaning a life next up i got a paul mccartney press to play i just picked this one but if you're a paul mccartney fan like myself then you know his run in the 80s after tug of war i like give my regards to broad street i like that but that was basically just him doing old songs he didn't really have new material in that but the run after tug of war was actually horrible he cleaned it up with flowers of the dirt at the end of the decade but i had to pick this album i have a few songs saved on this album i could not tell you the last time that i listened to it i couldn't tell you any songs that i felt like were really memorable and that's the thing with paul mccartney is whenever paul mccartney's great he's really great he has a knack for melodies i think he's a decent vocals and instrumentalist and when he makes a bad song he makes a bad song and this album was just full of bad songs next up i got unapologetic by rihanna i think that rihanna should apologize for this album because this album was absolutely abhorrent i have what four songs saved about this album get it over with i think is one of rihanna's best songs one of the only good songs on this album that's worth revisiting but yeah i don't know how people go for this album i talked to people who said that this is top three in her discography are listening to the same discography because there's no way that this is sitting in contention with loud with anti why would you say that why would you say that this album cover is even worse one had a sharpie and a dream yeah i like rihanna i do but this album was not a strong showing for her for the most part next up i have janet jackson 20yo if you know one thing about me i'm a huge janet jackson fan that's why 20yo pains me because i know the greatness of janet jackson and the majority of her discography but 20yo was shockingly bad it really was like when i think of bad albums by pop stars this is like the first album that comes to mind for me what is so bad about it well a few things there was only like three or four good songs in this album and the only song i revisit is enjoy because that was the main one that kind of sticks in my head but you know I really blame Jermaine Dupri for this because she was working with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis on her other albums. They were having a good time. They were making great albums. Jermaine gets thrown in the mix and he ruined it. I like Jermaine Dupri as a producer. I don't think he works well with Janet, but I digress. But we had bad songs on this album. So excited. It's a hit. I don't get why people like this song. I never liked it. This Body is one of the worst songs that Janet Jackson has ever put out in her entire career. You have all these interludes that weren't really worth listening to. You have the fact that she was sampling control, so it reminded you of whenever she made good music. The production choices on this album were awful. The songwriting wasn't particularly the strongest. And yeah, like honestly, it's so funny because people rag on Discipline and say that that's not a good album and blah, blah, blah. But Discipline sounded a lot more like Janet to me. And Janet wrote basically none of the songs on Discipline and she was very involved in this album and to me if you told me janet wasn't involved in this album i would believe you because it doesn't have the essence of janet jackson we don't have the hits we don't have the great songwriting we don't have the great production so what am i really left with a big disappointing album i just i can't stand this album i can't stand this album next up i got femme fatale by britney spears now in my opinion this is britney spears worst album some people may disagree with me but again carried by the singles for the most part i think i saved another song or two but this song sounds like of the time. This album came out in 2011. It sounds like it. You know, we're in 2024. This album, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I just hate the production on it. It just really did it no favors. Songwriting on here I thought was quite mediocre. Yeah. And I think this is whenever she was in her conservatorship and everything. So I think that she didn't really have a choice in terms of the creative direction of this album. So I'm not really blaming her. I'm blaming everybody else besides her for why this album turned out the way that it turned out. We had some good singles in Until the World Ends and Hold It Against Me in a Criminal. I'm not denying that. The album tracks, they left a lot to be desired. The production choices were not it. This album should have never seen the light of day in my opinion. And yeah, it's a job next up i have her britney jean album too because this also was not a good album i just really did not go up for this they said it was going to be such a personal album what was personal about this album and the fact that jamie lynn somehow forced her way on this album 
why why did we need to hear that that was absolutely awful well i am's contribution to this album and the song that they were on together certainly is not doing any favors the production definitely wasn't giving i'm pretty sure for some of the songs she wasn't even singing on them like they had somebody else go in and sing it so yeah they just really did bad with the marketing on this album the production and the sounds of it weren't great i didn't particularly care for the songwriting the production on the vocals was certainly a bad choice you know we had a work bitch that was a good song i liked perfume there was some good moments on this record but overall it's really not worth listening to you know this femme fatale could be deleted from britney discography and i promise you i wouldn't miss them so those are some bad albums from artists i typically like some pop stars let me know what you think down below in the comments do you agree with my list do you disagree with me i thought that this was really fun to do actually and so i'm glad that i kind of came up with this in the middle of my last video which i'll link below but yeah let me know what you guys think are there any albums by pop stars that you guys thought were bad and kind of let me know and let's continue the conversation there thank you so much for watching if you enjoy it give it a like it helps me out a lot in youtube algorithm i'd appreciate it you can subscribe to see more videos like this i post music discussions every single day i have not missed a day posting this year i'm very proud of that but i also post about other things like sports you know like women's basketball the nfl and sometimes i have videos on dance moms it's one of my favorite shows ever and tier lists and other stuff so music isn't the only thing i talk about but i like to do other things and all that stuff so you have that and then if you hit the bell you get notification on your phone i post and now some ready videos come out first link below will be my main channel just posted my charlie xcx broad album review that you can check out also gonna have social media twitter instagram spotify tiktok airbuds if you'd like to follow me as well and free palestine we must educate ourselves on this register to vote i think that that's something that's very important i will be voting for kamala so I wanted to have that there. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.